Hey there, Z here from S&P Gym down in Stockport. Now, I want to introduce you today to a girl called Alison. Now, more than five years ago now, before Alison joined the gym, she was, she just planned an adventure holiday to New Zealand, adventure of a lifetime. And she was, she was overweight, she was about five stone overweight. She was feeling really unconfident, demotivated, and just really worried that she was going to struggle to kind of be able to do all the activities on holiday that she, she kind of planned for. So she decided to take a punt and join S&P. Here's her video now. Go check it out right now. Hope you enjoy. Uh, please, can you tell me your name, age, and occupation? I can indeed. My name's Alison. I'm 30, Ooh, which pains me to say. <laughs> and I'm a makeup artist. And um, what encouraged you to join S&P, Alison? Uh, we were going on holiday to New Zealand. And while we were researching it, I saw there was a lot of outdoorsy things to do. Walks, rafting, all that sort of stuff mm -hmm. and the state I was in at the time I thought I just won't be able to do that um, and with it being such a big holiday it was a really big deal for us to go it felt I like, know I want to take full advantage of the holiday while I'm there mm -hmm. and so decided to get fit awesome yeah good reason to join mm -hmm. so when you did join yeah. how did that make you feel sick uh, <laughs> no um, <laughs> When I first, well, I wasn't too nervous to be honest because I hadn't, well, I didn't know what to expect. So I suppose it didn't scare me, but just because I didn't realize what they were gonna throw at me, to mm -hmm. be honest. Um, but yeah, when I first started coming, the sessions, yeah, made me feel sick. Mm -hmm. My face used to go purple, um, the sweat's just pouring off you. You just think, I actually can't do this. Not, oh, it's too difficult, I need a rest. No, I can't do it. Like, you know, please let it stop. And how's yeah. that, how has it changed to now? Oh, um, <laughs> you still feel like you can't do it, but you know in the back of your mind that you can do mm -hmm. it because you've done it before, you'll do it again. They push you to what you feel is your limit and then they push you just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Thank you. And what did you really, really struggle with before you joined S&P? Um, I suppose confidence. Um, just in general, nothing, it wasn't anything specific. I didn't sort of, I wasn't massively body conscious or anything like that, but I didn't feel like I could kind of go out into the world and do anything. Whereas now mm -hmm. I feel like I could go out and just do anything, like really just anything. Anything. Yeah. And so it's changed your outlook. Oh, entirely. Yeah. You just, it just, once you physically become able, mm -hmm. you start to think, well, if I can do that, then I must be able to do this. And when you know your body's not holding you back, that's one thing you don't have to lack confidence in because you think no matter what happens, unknown situations, if like, well, you need to walk up that big hill or run up those stairs or carry this, mm -hmm. you won't think, oh, what if I can't do it? What if it's too heavy? What if I'm the last one or any of that sort of stuff? You think, well, I'll be able to do that. So I can just deal with all the other things and ignore that bit because I'm able. Able is not a problem anymore. Whereas yeah. before you may have been frightened. Yeah, there'd be things in the back of your mind where you think, well, what if, mm -hmm. like I say, what if they make me do something that physically I'm not able to do or I'm the last one or I hold back the team, depending on what it is you're doing. Mm -hmm. Whereas now there's none of that. You just have to focus on the other scary things that life might throw at you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So what does S&P mean to you? Um, that's got, it's a funny question because there are some people when I talk about the gym and things and they look at me and they're like, it's just a gym, Alison. And I'm like, but it's not just a gym. You don't understand until you start coming, until you start taking part and you become friends with the people and you sort of let yourself get involved. You let yourself get carried away with it all. You don't realise how big a part of your life it is. It's... Um, it's huge to me. It's uh, it's changed everything. Uh -huh. yeah. So it's a major, major part of yeah, your life now. But not in a sort of I need to train and I need to eat this and I need to count this and I need to sort of. It's a really positive impact on my life. So if I'm having a rubbish day, mm -hmm. if I come here, you, there's no phones and all that stuff. So you just put everything away, forget about everything, and the next hour, hour and a half of your life is going to be a positive one. Even if you're struggling with the session, by the end of it. You're going to feel uplifted, you're going to feel better, other people are going to encourage you, mm -hmm. everybody's in it together. It's a, it's a real sort of team effort, even though obviously you're physically doing the work. Yeah. And why do you think S&P is different to anywhere else? 
it's the atmosphere, really. Um, I've been to local gyms and big sort of corporate gyms, uh, and they just feel sort of empty. There's no, everybody's a stranger. I mean, obviously you might see somebody you know, but it's not the same sort of thing. Um, people don't tidy their gear away, really winds me up. <laughs> they leave it in a mess, they've got no respect. Uh -huh. They treat it like, well, I'm paying for something and so people need to almost like do it for me. People need to, and it's just not like that uh -huh. here at all. Like I said, we're a team, uh -huh. everybody's in it together. You're going to encourage other people, they're going to encourage you. You're going to be expected to take responsibility for yourself. So you become more aware of yourself and your own actions. You tidy up your stuff. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's just entirely different. There's a real kind of community spirit um, rather than just exercise and training. And you know. Thank you. And what would you say to someone considering joining s and I think Firstly, you should do it, mm -hmm. but secondly, you, need, you do need to be in the place where you can make the commitment, but really all you need to commit to doing, first of all, is getting here. So to start with, as long as you can get yourself to the gym, that's the only commitment you really need to mentally be able to make, because once you get here, the coaches and everybody else will help you along so much that that will sort of get you going, and then further down the line, you'll want to be here, and so it'll be easy, there'll be no-brainers, I think. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you should definitely do it. Everyone should do it. The world will be a better place. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching Alison's video there. And if anything that you've watched right now on this video has struck, really struck a chord with you in terms of you know, where you are right now and where you'd like to be, I really suggest you kind of go somewhere on this video. You'll find a link, you'll find a button somewhere. Find it, click on it, and then fill out the application form underneath. And hopefully we'll be able to help you move forward and fast into the next year and beyond and really help you achieve the most amazing transformation you could possibly wish for. Okay, so go below the video, find the link, click on it, apply, and we'll speak to you soon. This is Z from S&P Gym saying take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.